I'm Grump. I'm not so Grump. And we're the Game Grumps. Hey, welcome back. Hello. Did you know that dumplings are just wet bread? That's impossible. It's true. It's not true. All it is is just fucking G Pillsbury Grands. That got cooked in water. That cannot be even remotely the case. It's 100% true. You mean if I go into Din Tai Fung? No, those are fucking fancy dumplings that they fucking rolled up. Then and what are we talking about? Stuck in water. D that Fuck! <laughs> I'm talking. To, if you if you jam. No, some those fucking... dumplings are different than the <laughs> dumplings I'm talking about, which is all dumplings. <laughs> Those are fancy schmancy dumplings, Mr. Fucking... Richie Richie <laughs> Pants can afford <laughs> Din Tai Fong every night. Mr. Richie Richie Pants. Fucking Tai Ding Fong. All you had to say is Mr. L L Richie Rich was his name. Richie Richie Pants. You didn't have to go into his fucking pants. <laughs> Have to talk about it's the only thing he cared about. How many times are you gonna run into that hammer? Would you shut up? <laughs> How many times? God! Five. Why I don't counted. you do it then? I can't do you it. Fucking banana loving motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> you fucking love your bananas, don't you? I do, I do. Did you know that all bananas are just bread mashed together and peeled up? Together? That is not true. That, that is, is a true. myth. Unless it's like, oh, fucking fancy pants bananas. <laughs> Which are a fruit. <laughs> <laughs> Which are a fruit, by the way. Not a vegetable! Yeah. Funny. As some people think. Oh, the, there's a fucking thing yeah, up there. there is. How do you get up there? Whoa, I have to go all the way up there and fucking fall down and it die? Looks that way. That sucks. Well, well, we will deal with it whoa, later. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> Fat hammer, bro. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Ah, ah. Ah, whoa, I don't know how you got past that. Whoa. You can really take your time. Is it okay? Okay, question. In 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 the vein of offending people, right? Okay, sure. Is it okay to say that somebody is fat? I don't know anymore. Cuz I, I feel like that's just a like a it's just a descriptive term. Right. It's not inherently offensive unless you think being fat is bad. Right. Right. But you know, society tells us that fat is bad. Cuz I would say that I'm fat. But it- that doesn't bother me? I don't think you're fat. I think you're portly. I just- I- I- like, I'm capable of losing weight, and I will, eventually. <laughs> Someday. I- I've- 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 I've been with some girls that have a little extra. I- I kinda like it. I know! There's yeah. nothing- I- I fucking- whatever. Yeah, ain't nothing wrong. But like... I don't know. To- to be like... The- the fat guy, you know, like as as a descriptor, right? That's offensive to say. I guess so. Yeah. And yet, you know, like that's a fucking straight up movie trope, you know, like Reggie Ray, God damn it, Reggie Ray, God damn it, or Billy Bob, whoever it was from Friday Night Lights. I don't know. Okay, great. But like the, you know, there's and in Revenge of the Nerds, like there's all, you know, there's always the fat guy in movies. There's also- Who's clearly just, like, that's the- the role he's playing. That's- that's the only thing about, like, offensive terms that really, like, interested me. Was- was, like, descriptors. Right. Like, because I get the thing about saying, like, a black guy. Yep. Fuck. Boy, oh boy. If that- yeah, I can do it, don't worry. Okay. You say, there was- I met this black guy, and so that's, like, sort of offensive to say, I guess? Mm -hmm. But if I said, like, I met this white guy, is it, is it, is it also offensive? And I think it, it comes from the fact that, like, since I'm white, and I primarily hang around white people, mm -hmm. that, uh, if I say, that guy, it just means, that, like, he's default white, and then if he's a black guy, then I'll always say, that's a, that's a, this, I met this black guy. I don't know. Right. I, is, I is that where it comes from? I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know the answer. Because people are, like, I think on the spectrum of, like, people who are offended by a lot of things, you and I are pretty far towards the not offended, Yeah. you know? I, I don't... But, again, there's this thing online where it's like, well, if you are... If you fall into the category of us, that we're white males, there isn't much that can offend us, right? Like, I guess. by default. <clears throat> I guess not. And should I be offended by that stereotype? <laughs> I I don't know. I think life is too short to just be offended and worry about. Take your time, I keep Aaron. Forgetting, I'm I, I'm one hit kill. It's uh, this key. Like it makes me feel like I'm powered up or something. You're not. Can I get that? You've star? got all the time in the world. Star. Um. Yeah, I I honestly don't know. 
I, I, I just don't know. And like, uh, it's, it sucks that I'm like afraid to like even like discuss it because it's like, you know. Right. I don't want to hurt anybody's feelings. You, you can just imagine the dislikes bar. Not even that. I don't care what, because the, the dislike bar is like what people think of me. You know, like, and I really, I don't care too deeply about that. Like, I love myself. My mom loves me. I'm cool. But like. I don't want to hurt anyone's feelings. I don't want to make any, like, people feel like shit about themselves. Right. You know? And, but, like, it just feels like people are so much touchier now than they used to be. And I don't know if, if that's healthy, because, like, the world is pretty harsh, you know? And if you can't, like, if you can't toughen up a little bit, like, if, if you're so sensitive that everything bothers you, like, life is gonna be really tough. So if you- Whoa! I saw that shroom. Whoa! It's right there! It's right there. It's that one! Okay, get that. That's the fucking savior, dude! Yes, I agree. That's- uh, Honestly, okay, maybe not, but like, I feel like- That'll help. Well, yes. But also, like, I feel like a lot of people probably can't get through this as well. Because they didn't have the fuck- fuck. <laughs> anyway. They didn't so, have the fuck, so, fuck So what's okay, right? So, when you were around children, right? Right. It's like, don't say fuck around my kid. Right. When is the appropriate age to know the word fuck? And why isn't it okay? It's I don't just know. It's a word that people use. I honestly am unclear on whether black is okay to say anymore. Like, I, I... And I don't mean that in a shitty way. Got plenty of black friends, fucking... But, like... There's... There's something about... I don't know. There's something that... Confuses me about African American. Like, that feels more disingenuous to say. Well, it's also much more presumptuous. Yeah. Like... What if they're not from America? Black is just the term that we all agreed was... the term to say for somebody who has darker skin. Right. But African American is like, well, I'm not African. And I'm not American. Like, you know? Yeah. But the weird thing is, like... Sometimes, like... There'll be a white person who's, like, really deeply tan. And a black person who has like very light skin, but they still have like kind of like traditionally black features. And you're like, huh? The the, the quote unquote white person has darker skin, you know? But like, th we still refer to the lighter one as black. It's really it, the whole thing's weird. Through that, oh shit. Oh uh, yes, just if I can fucking make it. Down. And and I don't know, like, like I don't even know if people will be offended by this conversation. But like, I feel like. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it exactly, but like, I think, I think when you spend a lot of time getting super offended by everything, then you never have a discussion about anything, you know? And it ends up being like counterproductive to actually solving problems and being kinder to each other. Um, oh my god, you did it. I agree with that. Oh my god. Yeah, because like, you can't even get to the point where you're actually talking to each other. It's just like everyone's yelling as soon as uh, a word is said. Can you get that? What is? Oh. Ah. Okay. Is this a different one? I agree with that completely. Yeah. Um. That's that's why like. I think it's so important to be able to like laugh about race and everything like that because like. If you don't mean it, and people know you don't mean it. And we're all just fucking joking around, then haha, -ha, we're laughing, and we could all fucking relate to each other. Yeah. Oh, I see. Um, agreed. I think just being kind is the thing. Yeah. And I think it's just a, an assumption that there's something deeper than, like, what you mean or something, you know? It's like, well, if you're saying like this, then deep down you really feel that way. Right, exactly. Um, not true. Yeah, but like, not even true though you're being kind, you know, that's. Oh, you just have to survive. Oh. Uh, um, even though you're being kind, like, obviously, secretly, you feel this way. Yeah. In, 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 despite what you're acting like. It's fucking lame. Yeah. Agreed. Well, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong about that, I don't know, fucking know. But, and, and maybe I don't have a right to talk about it because... I don't get offended by things. Yeah, but it, it's... And other people do, and that's valid, I think. I get- it is va yeah, great fucking Woo! job. Whew. Oh yeah, Mario time. Yeah. I've been reading articles that talk about millennials and how- and I, like, I hate even saying generational shit like that because, you know, you can't 
can't fucking sweep up everyone born in a time. No, but you know what? Way. I do think that there is something to that. Maybe that's hypocritical of me to say, but generationally, like, there are big things that happen, like... Yeah, for an, sure. An entire economy affects how... Yeah, people develop. People generally think, and yep. an entire, I don't know, like, political disarray or something. But there's, there's, there's... I've read several articles on this, and who knows if they're accurate or not, but they talk about how, like, because this generation of young people has been coddled in a way that no other generation has, you know? Um, because more people are being told, like, they're special, you know, and to follow their dreams, and I do believe people are special and they should follow their dreams. But because so many people have been told that, and uh, there's so much sensitivity to like words and not offending anybody and everything like that when when kids get out into the real world and you know you realize hey like maybe I'm not as special as I've been told and I need to fucking work super crazy hard to get anywhere um they're just totally unprepared for it you know like fucking are you not paying attention to anything I'm, I'm totally saying right paying now? attention to what you're saying you you're are just saying because Everybody feels special, they're not prepared to go out into the world because they haven't been, and then you were continuing. <laughs> go on. <laughs> go on, as you go back to looking at some other shit. Um, yeah, that's- that's it. That's it. Well, what was the conclusion? You didn't no, I was- I was waiting for you to say something. Like, cause it's a discussion. <laughs> I am listening, <laughs> and you were saying something that you didn't finish your statement. Yeah, you're probably right. I w I worry. I, I worry if if a great deal of kids are going to be okay, because um, but I guess that's part of generational shit. Like, it, it's generations always worry about the next generation after them, because like shit changes so crazily. Yeah, especially now, like with technology and the, the speed at which life is changing. True that. Um, I think people will figure it out. I mean, everybody figures it out. Yeah, I they guess just, so. I think it's just the, the 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 start, right? Like when you start out and you're and you have the tools that you have, and then shit doesn't go well for you, then you learn over time. Yeah, it's true. It certainly took me fucking fifteen years to get anywhere with music, you know. Yeah, exactly. It's just like, and and part of the reason was because, like, out of college, I was like, I will be successful at this, no matter what, because. I mean, I don't know what I thought. I guess because my mom thinks I'm great. That like, <laughs> uh, uh, so will the world. And it was not the case. Um, and then it was just busting ass for a long, long time. Um, this got deep. Yeah. Didn't Next mean to get so Grumps, deep. We're gonna do Bowser's prison fight. Bowser's prison fight. Browser's prison Browser's fight. fight. All right, and we'll talk about some stupid shit because I need I need some levity, baby. Let's talk about something else. Saddles. Saddles What's up with good? bridles? Am I right? Saddles, that's uh, Richard Dreyfus. I want to meet Richard Dreyfus. Go buy it now on iTunes. Put the link up. Okay. Bye. By Gabriel Gundacker. Funny guy. Funny guy. <laughs> oh, what are you, Mister Funny Guy? <laughs> what is this? <laughs> what is what is this? <laughs>